Welcome to Insert Learning. I'm Matt, one of the teacher founders, and I'm going to help you get started. I'm going to first show you what I've done with this Tween Tribune news article that talked about recycling. This is a lot of text for my students. So what I did was with Insert Learning, I then went ahead and added in a couple of different questions, some multiple choice, a discussion, as well as some notes as we went along, and then even a video in there. We're going to start off a little bit easier than that, but all of these student responses get automatically saved into your teacher dashboard. From there, you can then see the student's name, when they answered it, and then their response, and then you can quickly go through and assign them a score. What's really nice is that this is going to save you some time as you're doing your grading because all students' responses get collected into one place for each question. You can even filter by student as well, so you can then see for a specific student what the response was for each one. All right, so let's go ahead and create a lesson now. I'm on this NPR news article um, about tardigrades or water bears. I'm going to go ahead and load in the insert learning extension. On the left hand side then is your toolbar. Um, so we're going to start off just simply from the top here. This first one is your annotation tool. So I'm going to click on that and I'm going to highlight microscopic. I'm going to add a little note. So now the students will see that little annotation they've got. And it's got a little box around it, meaning that it's got a note attached to it. Um, so the next one that I'm going to show off is the sticky note button. So for this one, it goes by paragraph. And you can see these paragraphs are kind of highlighting. That means I can add a note to these different ones. I'm going to go ahead and add in one up here at the beginning. And for this one, I'm going to type in my instructions. And there's a lot of things you can do with sticky notes. But we're just going to start off simple of typing in some instructions. But for this one, I'm actually going to record a video giving them instructions. So click on the video icon, and then there's me. All right, students, so I want you to read through this lesson, answer all the questions, and don't worry, all of your questions will auto-save, or all of your responses are going to auto-save. I'm going to click on Use Video. And there it is. So now, when students get there, they're going to be able to watch that video, and I can type in some instructions as well. All right, so now as they're going through, it's time for us to add in a question. I'm just going to add one question for this one. So I can click on the question button. So now I can insert my question here. And I'm typing a question of, you'll come up with a better question than that. You can also change the number of points here and click on create. So now when they type in, students type in right there, their questions will go into your dashboard. And this last one I'll show you is the discussion tool. And the discussion works very similar to the questions. So I'm going to add after this paragraph. what's different is that now when students respond to this um, question right here everybody else in that class can then see each other's responses too so I'll show you what that's like so then as you start typing things in as a teacher you can also moderate those responses too so you can then kind of hide that one so that other students can't see that all right well I think our quest our lessons ready to go so I'm gonna click on the little options here for our lesson and here you can see you have a couple of different things so you can assign it you can share it out to other teachers, you can edit the title, and you can also go back to the dashboard. So I'm just going to assign our lesson. I'm gonna send this one to biology. You can sign it also to Google Classroom directly. It makes it real simple, even imports your student roster. And then that's it. All right, so now we're gonna head over to the dashboard. I'm gonna show you how you get your students all set up in here. Um, so in classes, there's a couple of different ways you can get your students enrolled. You can either import a class directly from Google Classroom. So we've got complete Google Classroom integration, so that's really great. But if you don't, that's fine too. So I'm going to create a new class. This is going to be Biology 1. I'll click on Create. And there's my class that just showed up right there. So it shows me I have zero lessons so far, no students, but we've got me as a teacher. All right, so to have my students enroll manually instead of with Google Classroom, what you do is you give them this code. Um, if you have a projector in your classroom, you just click on the binoculars and have that pop up right there. So your whole class can then sign in with their Google sign in or their Google ID. So after a new password, they'll be asked to enter in a code for the class. They'll get that. And then any lesson that you've assigned to that class will then automatically show up for them. And we can head back over to our lessons. This is the one that we just created right there. And I notice right now that news doesn't show up very obvious for my students. So I'm going to click on here and I want to edit this information. I'm just going to change that title, click Save. So now we've got a better title. And I also want to sign it to that, newly, that new class we created. So I'll click on Assign. I'm going to send this one to Bio1 as well. And that's it. 